Hello, this is Tom from Never Center, and in this video, I'm going to show you the new things we've added for you in Camerabag 2025.2, both photo and pro for all of these features that I'll be showing. Um, the first thing to notice, you'll notice in these tabs I've got, it says clipboard image. This is one handy thing that we've added, whereas if, uh, where if you are in a new tab and you hit uh, Command V or Control V and you have something on your clipboard, it will load up that for you. Um, and so that just makes inner app um, communication much easier if you've got, if you're working between camera bag and some other um, image editor or something like that, or you copy something from your, your browser or whatever, you can just paste it in. So that's the first thing, uh, small but handy. Next thing um, you'll notice in my adjustments tab, this section up here is a little bit different. Um, I've got various things in here that you would not usually see in the first section, which was basics before, and that's this favorite section. So now just the same with presets. Um, if you have adjustments that you use more often than others, you can right click on anything and click add to favorites, or if it's in the favorites section, you can right click to remove it from favorites. So. Um, Sometimes there are adjustments you use over and over again, like grain or something that was down here in the photographic section. It'd take you a while to get to. But anyway, you can tailor this to your individual preferences. And um, we found it extremely handy so far. Um, now, the other thing that you'll notice in here is this uh, new adjustment called spot exposure, which is... Um, in the advanced light section, but I put it in my favorites. And this basically um, it gives you two uh, control handles to be able to move around. And it just lets you exp uh, adjust the exposure with a fall off. And so this is controlling the radius of that. And the sharpness of the fall off is in a slider here. And so if I go to full sharpness, it's a perfect circle and I can... Uh, basically adjust the ramp for how it goes. But <clears throat> you could do this before with a with a um, with a spot mask tied to an exposure adjustment, but it didn't have all this handy interactive stuff and uh, this one is tuned to be faster. So you can see I can I can really naturally adjust the lighting in an image pretty magically, like as if I'm going through and um, adjusting the lighting in the original scene. So I'll just toggle this spot exposure off. You can see that's what it looked like before and on. It's very natural. It just looks like the sun is glowing more here. And you can do really fun things like I can just highlight different parts of this photo. Like I can make it look like this glass is really getting lit up by the sun. There's off and on. Or maybe it's like hitting this chair and casting a glow off of there really strongly across the room or whatever. Um, really powerful. And then you can also do things like uh, I can turn the exposure up, but I can also turn it down. So I can like, um, you know, make it look more shadowy inside of here. Um, and then another thing that you can do is change it from normal to inverted so that instead of... Uh, turning down the exposure or up the exposure in the middle, I'm doing it outside of the radius of the selection. So, and I'll just show it to you real quick on another image here, just because this one's really fun to use it on. Um, where it really looks like basically you're kind of even shining a flashlight around in here. Um, this canyon photo, as I move this exposure, spot exposure around, you can really get a sense of like, wow, I can really relight this and um, adjust this for for however I'm whatever I'm thinking is important. Whoop, I keep accidentally missing the the button the uh, handle to click on. But um, anyway, really really fun to use, really really useful. And um, as with all of camera bags adjustments, um, you know I can put one here and then I can add another spot exposure with um, a different adjustment and put it over here or whatever. Um, so you can add as many of these as you want to a given photo. Then the last thing that I'll show you is um, in the file menu, 
we've added another way to do multi-export. So this is where uh, you can have your photo or your video if you're using Camera Bag Pro and you can export it in one go using multiple presets. And so if you had five presets in your favorites or in your session presets, then it would export five different versions with each of those presets. What we've added is that you can now select a folder that you just have presets saved in an individual folder somewhere and it will export it using all those. And this is handy for formatting things for multiple social media sites or um, you know, if you always want things uh, cropped in a few different aspect ratios for whatever reason or you have a few favorite looks that you always use as your go-to as a wedding photographer or something, then you can um, export your, your current media in all of those with one click. So uh, we've also added some bug fixes and um, uh, we hope you'll love this. Let us know what you think in the comments and what you're looking forward to next. Thanks.